Hey buddy, you wanna buy a boat? So hopefully everybody who is out there who still has a boat is going to keep your boat <laughs> because if you have looked at used boat prices lately, they are totally off the chart, off the rails. Um, much like everything else that's going on in this uh, pandemic, it, 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 people are insane. People have lost their marbles, but I understand where they're coming from in so far as Everybody is going crazy, trying to get out of their homes, trying to do stuff, trying to enjoy themselves, trying to get out and, 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 and have fun. But the problem is, there's so many people that want to do that because of lockdowns and blah, 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 is that uh, new, boat, new boat sales have spiked. They're at record height. Uh, I know Sea Ray, for example, they already announced back in, I think, January, February, that all their production for 2021 was completely sold out. They were doing pre-orders for 2022 and there's some other boat manufacturers as well. Uh, actually in local radio stations, there's one that advertises, I can't remember what kind of boats, I think they uh, sell pontoon boats. But they're already saying, um, yeah, enjoy the summer on your boat and get together with us and then we'll order you your new one for 2022. So what they're saying is if you have a boat, what they're hinting at is that if you have a boat, don't sell it, work out a trade for them or, or whatever, and they will order you one for next year because this year is sold out. I happen to watch um, a, a YouTube video, one that was just suggested, and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description because it was actually pretty good. It was about a half an hour, a guy who, I don't know if he's the general manager or owner of a big RV uh, retailer in Michigan, and he's just wandering around his lot lamenting on the fact that they can't get any stock and it's so bad that even the manufacturers aren't aren't guaranteeing them any sort of shipment at all the only way that they could possibly guarantee uh, a sale or, or sorry a, a shipment is that if it's pre-ordered by the customer because they know it's already sold so they want to make stuff for for stock just for sitting on the lots if you know what i mean but anyways uh it's really good and um really interesting hopefully you, you get to watch it whether you're in RVs or not but it's it's kind of indicative of what's going on in North America and probably the rest of the world right now as many of you probably know I'm a general contractor that's why I was dressed so nice, nice and neat and spiffy um, 32 years in the business I've never seen anything like it uh, as a matter of fact I got a big project just starting over the next few weeks and I actually had to pre-order all the lumber and it was a sizable amount of lumber uh, just so we don't get ding with any more increases because lumber has pretty much tripled in the last year. Three quarter inch sheet of spruce plywood, $100, thank you very much. Anyways, getting back quickly to the boats, which is the whole reason we're here, is um, I know last year at the end of the season a lot of folks they wanted to uh, jump on that bandwagon and say, wow, you see the price of used boats? So they uh, sold their boats and they got way too much uh, more than the boat is worth. And uh, there's a couple of them who were hoping to, you know, cash out and have the big box and then apply that to a newer boat, or sorry, a bigger boat this year. And they can't find any because they are just, there's nothing reasonable on the market. There's very, very few boats on the market uh, for sale used around this area we're in Ontario Canada in case you didn't know and uh, yeah there's hardly anything on the market and the things that are out there people are just crazy for example 1999 Sea Ray 380 Sundancer very nice boat it's on the short list for the next boogaboo beautiful boat but the only problem is that boat was the first year of that generation and what Sea Ray did was they put the toilet literally inside the shower stall. So it's got a separate shower stall, but the toilet's in there. Subsequent years, they fixed that problem. And so the 99 is a less desirable year for that boat. And there's Buddy's got one listed here for $175,000. Very interesting. Um, and 
uh, just for you know shits and giggles <laughs> I, I look on the local market because I haven't looked for two three months probably at anything and just see what's out there and like sea dues we have a sea dew a 2017 that we bought brand new all in tax trailer and a cover out the door less than 11.5 out the door complete tax trailer and cover and a brand new sea dew um there's two that have come on the market over the last week because anchor girl's on top of this all the time she's always looking at boats just to get ideas of prices um, and uh two pairs different listings but a week week and a half apart uh older than our boat two of them for thirty three thousand dollars one was thirty three plus fifteen hundred for the uh trailer and I think the other one that was around the same 30 32 or something like that like it, it, <laughs> but you know what if you want to buy and there's nothing available people just say the heck with it as a matter of fact when we were looking at our uh, dinghy when we were picking up our dinghy which we thankfully got brand new um, floor model but you know still brand new full warranty and everything else zero miles zero hours of the thing and we were told by the salesman that People were walking in already last year and saying, I want that one. Sorry, it's sold. Well, I want that one. No, it's sold. Well, order me one. Well, okay, we'll order you one, but we can't guarantee when it's going to come. Um, I'll take that one and I'll pay you $3,000 more than whatever you sold that thing for. And of course, I mean, the salesman just says, we can't do that. I mean, that's just, you, you, that, that, that's in, that would be in bad form to sell it out from the uh, client that's already bought it. And he says, yeah, they're just like, you know, just throwing money. Uh, somebody else that we know, he has a boat and ran into the same situation where a gentleman came up and uh, learned that he had this boat and just kept throwing, I'll give you this much money. No, it's not for sale. Next offer, 5,000 more, 5,000 more. And he's like, no, 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 no. How many times do I have to say no? And the ultimate price, the high end that he was offering, which I the boat never sold because it wasn't for sale because they don't want to sell it because the same thing you can pay me and pay me a million dollars for that boat it's not it's no good to me if i can't buy another boat right so uh anyways the price that the guy was offer was again stupid money double what the boat's actual value should be and you know we're talking an expensive boat to start with relatively expensive anyways and and this is what's going on in the market right now but it's just it's insanity anyways I just want to put my two cents in out there uh, the problem with us is that we have three boats but we can't use any of them yeah anyways we are very grateful that we have all those boats and we're very grateful for the day that we can actually get splashed I talked to the marina at the beginning of this week and I told them I gave them a, a splash date which is the day after our lockdown is supposed to evaporate hopefully so it better yeah so we are uh, eagerly anticipating the, the launch date of the big boat I have arranged to pick up our sea dew at the end of the month and uh, the dinghy is still sitting on our deck at home it's happy there but it's just sitting there doing nothing the engine is still in our uh, our, st our storage room our spare room in the house and it's happy there. The cat likes it because I got a cover over and he likes to claw, crawl underneath it. <laughs> but uh, we don't want to launch that thing simply because the weather, and I get, I'm going to round this out. The weather, a couple things I want to mention to you, has been the only thing that is keeping my little bit of sanity that's still under my little bit of hair is because it, it started off uh, March. It was like summertime a few days. It was beautiful beginning of April I was like eh and the last three weeks has been four weeks more rain than anything and just kind of dreary days which is okay I'm busy I'm at work I can't enjoy the weather anyways that's fine um, we actually had snow about a week and a half ago today uh, they were threatening the fact that we may wake up to a little bit of snow on the ground tomorrow morning <laughs> and today is May 6th Yes, yeah, May 6th, 2021. Um, uh, I, again, really quick, I gotta apologize that I didn't upload a video this morning because I didn't have one. You don't wanna hear it. Yes, it's super busy. I didn't have time. I'm tired and everything else. That's why I'm doing this for you guys right now. Hopefully, it's 
somewhat entertaining for you. Um, yeah, so maybe a little bit of snow tonight. It's a beautiful sunny day, the first full-on sunny day that we've had, like I say, in about uh, three weeks. Last Saturday was nice. We were sat, sat outside for a few hours before it clouded over. Um, just count down the days. Count down the uh, days, literally, until we are launched and back into the water. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it might... Right now, it's supposed to warm up a little bit throughout next week. So if it stays, we might put the dinghy in the water. Like I say, super, super happy, super grateful that we have a boat that we can use at some point. That we have the sea -Doo and we have the dinghy. Uh, both Anchor Girl and I are really looking forward to uh, getting that dinghy um, going and getting going and using it. My God. A couple other things I just want to make mention of very quickly is, yay, we found out our daughter finally found out this week um well all right she's pregnant we knew this so that'll be our third grandchild but she found out on monday and we all found out all together that it is going to be a little boy so he will be our first grandson if you remember again we have two little girls two little granddaughters uh both love the boat and we are looking forward to i'm looking forward to grandson i've never had one before and i think it's going to be kind of neat that's going to be cool that's going to be really fun so yes a grandson coming in september just in case you wanted to know um so that was neat uh one last thing that i want to make mention of as well is the fact that on this past sunday we went for our vaccines anchor girl and i went we got our shots I know half of you guys are going to go, oh, oh, you got a vaccine. The other half are going to go, yay, you got a vaccine. I think I've made my position clear on this whole pandemic and the whole thing that's going on in the world. My motivation to get the vaccine as well for her, and she has come around to this way of thinking also, is uh, twofold. First of all, um, it is going to give those in power two more statistics two more people got it yay so hopefully that will bring around freeing up everything all the crap that's going on in uh, our part of the world right now and the second of all that's uh, something i've been saying for the last six months is that we will probably end up having what is uh, referred to as a, um, a a vaccine passport which means at some point you'll see it um you probably won't be able to fly, travel, go into a restaurant, or whatever else without showing a card to say, I've been vaccinated. Look at me. I'm safe. So anyways, so that's that. So that is, we're happy that we did it. We have, we're happy that we got it um, done. And before you ask in the comments, Pfizer is what we got. Zero after effects. I know, again, my wife's like, oh... People are sick, getting sick, they're getting blood clots, everything else, nothing. The only thing was uh, just arm, so muscle, uh, you know, at the, uh, in the uh, injection point <laughs> was sore. Both me and Anchor Girl and uh, her more so than me, and, but, you know, it just wears away in a day. By the end of Monday, I, was like, I didn't even think about it because my back was more sore than my arms there again. So uh, that just kind of <laughs> negated everything. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I think I wanted to talk about. I actually wrote things down. That, uh, yeah, that's about it. So anyways, stay safe out there, folks. Uh, please look down in the description. I will link a, leave a link to uh, that gentleman walking around his uh, RV retail. And um, you'll shake your head with, with what he talks about. But just the shortages and just ri the ridiculousness that is happening in the world right now. Again, myself being self-employed, I have to sort of have my finger on the pulse of what's happening in the world, just forgetting stuff and whatnot. And uh, besides the fact that I think a lot of people are using this whole pandemic as an excuse to dog it, um, there is definitely shortcomings because of the side supply chain and whatnot, and uh, ships getting stuck in the Suez Canal and all that crap that goes into it, and it's just snowballing. And it is getting to the point where it's hard to even get a new car. We are looking for a brand new uh, Korean cruiser for Anchor Girl. The 
model that we want to get is there's one on the lot and to get one you have to hope for the best again just like everything is it going to come is it going to show up are they going to have enough computer chips are there going to be enough tires is there going to be enough whatever other components that they're running short of to get it are there going to be enough truck drivers it just it's just it's so big it's so insane yet on the flip side boats lumber and houses have gone through the roof of prices i don't know where you guys are in the world but house prices in this part of the world are stupid stupid crazy just uh, just to give you an insight where we moved from five and a half years ago that community there we were living there for many many years um, we sold that house for, I think it was around 450 something like that. That house today is 900,000, high eights anyways. Something a little bit bigger and a little bit newer, you can't touch them for under a million dollars. And something, let's say like a 3,500 square foot, uh, two car garage, four bedroom house, subdivision, like not like, oh, an estate, just like you drive down the road and you see dozens of them. Um, 1.3, 1.4 million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars for these houses. Oh man, it kills me. Uh, anchor go watch too many of these renovating shows, and real estate shows, and most of them are centered in the United States. And people, I was like, this house is a million dollars or look at this beautiful condo on the on the ocean a million dollars and they talk about it like oh my god only the three richest kings in in Europe could afford it <laughs> oh man a million dollars today around here <laughs> I don't know I don't know what to say I don't it's a million dollars people I feel like Gary Seinfeld, new man, it's a million dollars. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm spitting. Um, but anyways, uh, I don't want to use very descriptive language, but this world is <laughs> too funny. Too funny. Anyways, that's it. I'm almost home. Look at that. I killed 50 minutes just talking to you guys. Anyways, uh, I am really looking forward to your comments and. Let's please people, let's keep it on the even keel. Let's not start ranting and raving about the government and conspiracies and all that stuff. I just don't have time for that. <laughs> I've got too many conspiracy thoughts in my head already. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just kidding. Final, final, final thing. Yes, I have a special project that I am working on and I hope to release part one within a week and a half because it's going to coincide with something that's uh, um, special. Memorable, memorable, not special. Highly influential in my life and the whole reason I'm talking to you here right now. So anyways, um, look forward to that. Okay, I'm going to leave you go because i got to make a left-hand turn. So we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.